this is my second feature and the first feature was made also in the Azores Island. And these Azores Islands are nine islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And my family, mother, from my mother, uh, are from the Azores. And so since my childhood, I, 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 came, I came there to the Azores. And Azores are, are very particular islands because they have a, a very luxurious nature. So the nature is uh, completely amazing and very wild, uh, not wild, but uh, very fresh and very, everything grows. And this marks, of course, uh, a child when he's there for vacations every year. And, uh, and when I started to make the, my first film, I, I visited the land of my mother. My mother has, uh, was dead that year and I, was, I came there to, to make like an homage to my mother. And Azores became the, like the symbol of, of my childhood and my, of the mythological stories that I heard about these islands that is really uh, in the middle of the ocean. So you, you, you can be like, imagine nine boats in the ocean and you can travel around them. And so when I, the second film, I, I wanted to go further in these islands and to keep on these mythological islands. And so I choose the, the most far and the most little, and most far, that is Corvo, it's really a small island, just one village and 400 people. And nobody knows, or not many people know, what, what is Corvo, what is this line, island? Not even in the other islands, no. Oh, about yeah. Corvo, <laughs> yeah. And so, and so I wanted to go to, to search the unknown, you know? It's mm -hmm. like travel to the unknown and make a, a big film out of this, my discovery of the unknown. Uh -huh. It started a little bit before when I made a research about documents on Corvo and there's almost there's very little documents written so there's documents of people that passed by Corvo and made some notes uh, so the story of the history of Corvo it's very difficult to write or to know and so it, it made a bell in my in my head uh, if if imagine if I could make like a big archive visual archive of this island during some years so this is before I went there mm -hmm. and this was like the the great opportunity that I had to make a film about everything <laughs> because there is one one village and so you can you can easily know everybody you can easily go to every place and try to film the world the world in Corvo like imagine try to film Italy it's impossible no. No but way. you you can film one tiny village as this as if it was a country and at the, at the, at the, the days passed when I was shooting and this was becoming possible because I was I was going deeper and deeper and deeper in this in, in the village also and my desire of not of filming everything was growing and growing I, I was always finding a new thing to film Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to film everything, and I didn't have any idea of the film I was making. I was just making a big archive. Yeah. No, I didn't explain much. No, no, no I just I and I came immediately with a camera, mm -hmm. and did you with this with a sound with a sound. Uh, with a microphone, and immediately we were the sound man and the cameraman. That's what they called us. <laughs> so. <laughs> It was like this, uh, and in the beginning they are, and not only in the beginning, during all the project they were very suspicious of what we were doing because they are very protective community. Mm -hmm. It's normal, it's a little community outside, so it's protective. And, and they don't need the images, huh? they don't need the images I'm making of them. Mm -hmm. They really don't need it, and, and they are of course afraid of the use that I'm going to, to make of these images. Also, the televisions now in the last years came many times to Corvo to, to film this island as if it was the most poor place or the most, you know, and they don't like it, of course, they want to protect themselves and they saw us as probably a danger. Yeah. 
no? But it is. But, but, uh, but what, what we made is we kept there and we lived in Corvo, which, which stayed there as the habitants mm -hmm. and tried to gain the, the trust by time. But that you have to have like two years minimum to make that. Uh, visitors normally spend two hours and a half in the in, okay. in the island because they came from there's a bigger island in just in front of Corvo and normally they go there to the bigger island and then they take a, a boat to Corvo but they only spend one two hours and a half because then they take a boat back to the bigger mm -hmm. island and so this is the, the normal tourism in Corvo and I, this was a joke about the duration because it's not only that, it's because we, we made so much footage and our desire was to make like this enormous film that could you, you could see as an, an archive mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Corvo. So three hours or two hours and a half, it doesn't matter. It's like the time that maybe you can have you need the to, to put this. Of course, the film goes up and down, mm -hmm. but this is life. <laughs> this, is, this is how it is. Yeah. I just <laughs> finished now and it's it's very new for me. I, I, sometimes I, I thought I will I could never finish this film. And then I had a really strong input to, to finish it and it was in time to Lucerno. That's a wonderful way to start. And I really really didn't thought about the future of this film even if if uh, before one year ago I had I had like talks with a uh, even with the Portuguese television that were interested in this film. But then, they, well, we spoke about the series, because this is possible, you can see it as a series of, maybe, theoretically you can see mm -hmm. it. But then I, it was impossible for me to make a series because, because the series doesn't really fit with the, the thing of you seeing the film in three hours in a row, with no stop. And for me, I, s I know it's, it's, you can get tired, even here many people got tired. But I think if you stay until the end, you can really get uh, this punch of, uh, of the islands. And I think maybe, maybe I don't want to make a series anyway of this. I uh, so now maybe I, I, I don't know if I'll make a second version of the film because you can imagine I have so much material that I didn't use and there's some little things that maybe I can I can make a second version uh, but I will keep on with the, with the festivals and and let's see what happens first I have to to show the film to the people of Corvo and, and this, this September I didn't have time okay. I just finished the film two weeks ago uh -huh. <laughs> and I came here to show it like world premiere and then then I go to Corvo to to, to show the film and maybe they also can suggest <laughs> maybe they maybe. will change the film also and I'm, I'm open to that because I think the film is for them also and yeah, sure. it's them sure. 180 180 hours well Which it's a lot. yeah it's, it's a lot because the possibilities were enormous and Maybe, maybe the problem was that not the problem. I think this is the uh, this is this film that can be everything. You can really make different films because I left it open. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I tried to really to collect, recollect material to make. But the only thing that that keeps on from the beginning till the end it's our presence. Mm -hmm. It's a presence of me and the other that are trying to make a film in the island. And this the film is is like. It shows the process of making this film. So mm -hmm. this is the film, actually. The material inside can be many, but the process is the process of making a film. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and then the selection was not so hard, but the 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 it's like a puzzle, no? the pieces, this, or in the end or in the beginning, this is was hard. Yeah, I can imagine. But but the the rest, the material speaks by itself and and keeps. Also, yes. Also. I, I take care of everything because it's my way of, of making. For me, films are, to make a film, it's not only, it's not a job. It's it's a really a part of my life, mm -hmm. and it changes my life. 
So if it, it if it does this does this, I, I have to take care of all the process. Okay, and and for me, it's, I like to take care of all the process also. I, I started in, in uh, I started to, like ten years ago filming and making, organizing uh, cine clubs, you know, mm -hmm. cine clubs, yeah. and and uh, watching and watching and watching and watching. But it started really in 2005 when when I started to make my first film. Mm -hmm. And when my mother died and then, and then I came back to Azores with a video camera and a microphone all alone, not with the idea of making a film, but with the idea of making the process of the deaths mm -hmm. with a camera. And then it started the film. And at that point, it changed completely my life because at that point, since 2005, the last six years, I'm, I'm just working in two projects of film. And my life is these films. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll make it, but not, I think it's not necessary to make. Really not. It's not a job, so if it's not a job, I don't have... Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, necessary yeah. to make another film. Yeah. It will happen, or not.